staff, you know, postgraduate students, undergraduate students, friends of the University of Hong Kong. We march today in silence, not because we have nothing to say, not because we are mourning in anything. We march in silence to demonstrate to ourselves and to the city of Hong Kong what a university would be like if its academic staff and students were silent. We march today in silence for the last time. In the last six months, 12 months, there has developed in this university and in other universities in Hong Kong an atmosphere and a climate of fear. People are afraid to speak out. We are marching today to dispel that fear, to dispel that atmosphere. We will no longer be afraid to speak up. What we want to say, first of all, is that we reject the decision of the Hong Kong Youth Council of September 29th. What has happened in the last six months has been a slow and steady campaign of political interference undermining of the autonomy of the university. It began with the so-called and ludicrous waiting for the provost argument. And now it's culminated with he has no PhD. He's a nice guy. We already knew Professor Johannes Chan had no PhD. We already knew Professor Johannes Chan was a nice guy. So what we demand now is that the chairman of the Hong Kong Youth Council must explain to us the nature of the decision that the council took. He told us it was a decision taken in the best interest of the university. We, standing here today, do not believe that. And we call on him to justify his decision, to explain his decision. There are very serious grounds for concern about the governance of this university. It is necessary for the chairman of the council to address those legitimate concerns. There is a crisis of confidence in the governance of this university. The council the chairman must address that crisis immediately. The second thing that we demand is that there must be a review of the governance structure of this university and in fact of all the universities in Hong Kong. In 2009, there was a five-year review of the governance of the university, in particular, the formation and structure of Hong Kong Youth Council. It is now six years since that review happened. In the light of recent changes in the social and political life of Hong Kong, we believe it is now high time for another review to be carried out. In particular, the one demand that we would make is that the Chief Executive of Hong Kong should not be the Chancellor of any university in this city. There is a culture of fear and silence. After today, some of us will be forming a group at Hong Kong University which is called HKU Vigilance. It will be a group to monitor, to advocate for, to support staff members at every level of the university who are concerned about encroachments on their academic freedom. What we have seen so far very clearly is an encroachment, a politically motivated encroachment on the institutional autonomy of the university. We all know that the next thing that will happen is an undermining and erosion of our academic freedom. And today we are here determined to say that we will not allow that to happen. Some people say that what's been happening at this university for the last six to nine months is something like a warning. It would seem that perhaps the Hong Kong government, or maybe even the Beijing government, is giving us a warning. Maybe they're warning us to be silent or else. Well, we are here today to give a warning of our own. We warn the council chairman, 
we warned the chief executive of Hong Kong that we will not accept this in silence anymore. Thank you all for coming today.